the war, the war of 1812 was also 1813, 1814, 1850. So when you hear the War of 1812, it went on more than just 1812, okay? The battle that took place here was 1813, June the 6th. So June the 6th is coming up shortly. That will be 210 years ago. Wow, yes. The Americans came across at Niagara on the lake and their intention was to go through this area on around the bay, no Skyway Bridge in those days, around the bay, onto York, Toronto, and then onto Montreal. That was the intentions of America. They wanted to take over Upper Canada. When did we become Canada? 1867. 1867, 1867 we became Canada. So this is prior to us as Canada as a whole. So we were called Upper Canada. The Americans wanted to take it over. They got as far as 40 Mile Creek, which is now Grimsby, and two young fellas, Billy Green and Levi Green, saw them coming, got on their horses, rode up to this area, and told uh, the settlers that were in this area that the Americans were on the way. The settlers were from America originally. They had come up here to get free land. We are now, we were then, uh, owned by the British or run by the British, so the British had given free land out to these people as long as they cleared it. So when they heard that the Americans were on their way, there's no way they wanted to go back. So they hid out. So when the Americans got here, they took over this house as their headquarters, and they pe put the people that lived in the house in the basement. They also captured an Isaac Corman, Corman Avenue in Stony Creek, named after him and uh, he was captured and taken down to an encampment where Confederation Park is now. Of course, it wasn't there then, but there was a dock there where the Americans would bring the food across to feed their troops and across Lake Ontario, and that was where the encampment was, and Isaac was taken there. Seven thousand, sorry, 3,000 Americans, 300, I say 3,000 Americans yeah. and 700 British. So outnumbered quite a bit, eh? And um, so they uh, were in disarray, the Americans, because they weren't used to this area and they were led by people that weren't really military men. They were doctors, lawyers, businessmen, but they had been recruited to do these troops. So they took over this, this house, captured Isaac, took him down there, and uh, Isaac and the Major down there got talking and found out they were both from the States. One was a settler and one was a military man. Uh, and he said to uh, Isaac, uh, uh, do you have any relatives in the States? And the Major says, yeah, I have relatives and you have relatives. And so they talked about it and here they found out they knew relatives knew each other. So he said to Isaac, you can go home. And he said, well, how am I going to go home through the guards all the way from the lakes up here? He says, I'll give you the password. Now, the password was Will Hen R. William Henry Harrison, the first three letters of each so William Henry Harrison did become the United States president at one time, the shortest running president. He died in office after six months with pneumonia. So, Will Hen R was the password. Isaac had the password, he used it to get home. Billy Green, being a young fellow of 19 years of age, knew the woods quite well. He goes looking for his brother-in-law, Isaac, finds him coming home, asked him how he got out. He told him the story, and he said, hey, you have the password. Let's give the password to the British. Yay. Isaac, <laughs> Isaac said, no, I won't. You're a little ahead of time. <laughs> Isaac says, no, I won't. Billy Green says, give it to me, and I'll give it to the British. So Isaac Corman gave Billy Green the password. Billy Green got on his horse, rode up to where Dundurn Castle is now. Of course, it wasn't there then. That's called Burlington Heights. And uh, so he gave the password to the British. They didn't believe him at first, but finally they uh, believed him. And uh, he led them, actually led them down through at night, to early in the morning, down through uh, the lines. And they used the password as they got to a guard. The guard would say, uh, what's the password? like the American Guard, 
and say, what's the password? And they would say, well, Den Har, he would say, come through. Now then they had to kill the guard because the guard knew they were British, not American. So they killed the guards all the way down from Thunder and Castle down to here. The Americans got in disarray. The, like I said, is the leaders were not military people, where the Ameri the British were mil military people. So they got in disarray, the guns got captured, and other things happened, and they decided to uh, uh, take off and head back to their airline. If they had kept going, we would now be called the USA. So a very important battle took place right here in 1813. Actually, the battle was out front here, not where they do it now. Okay, so a very important battle. It's in a history skipped over very fast. The monument was put up a hundred years later by the Women's Institute. They raised the money. If you go up there, you can go up to the first level, go around the back, you'll see a plaque called Scout Green in memory of Billy Green. Billy Green School on the Mountain is named after him. Some of the children go there. And there's a book uh, that is written about Billy Green. And if you want to, you can get this book in the house down there in the book room. Okay.